for me as a university professor, I know that I work there to help people. That is such a disservice on his part to start a video like that. <laughs>
And that is what we're talking about calories. And the main driver for you to lose weight, even if you're on a keto diet, is because you are consuming less calories than you burn. You're consuming less energy than you need. What this does is it does feed into misconceptions that people have about universities. So if you look into the comments of this specific video, you already can see that. Like, for example, this person here said, incredible how they keep us sick through lies. Or like this person who talked uh, to so many, in quote, highly educated people, and then says they have completely been brainwashed by the education system. It saddens my heart to see that, because that is not what our education system does, right? So what Dr. Burke does here is first, he lies to you by implying that the caloric deficit is not working. That is not true. So implying then that all universities are indoctrination centers, like he doesn't say it, but that's what he means, right? That's what he's suggesting. Clearly, that is, in my opinion, extremely dangerous because many people already believe that. For me, as a university professor, I know that I work there to help people. That is such a disservice on his part to start a video like that. So I want to touch a little bit on the nutrition stuff as well. So let's talk a little bit about caloric deficit. And one of the big problems with eating something in moderation is all it takes is a little bit of the wrong foods to keep you wanting more. Today, I'm going to completely dissect or actually demolish this theory that a calorie is a calorie. A calorie is just a measurement unit for the amount of energy a certain food contains, right? Again, let's take the cake again. Like if you have like a pie and if you have like a broccoli, you know, 100 calories of energy is 100 calories of energy. It doesn't matter if it comes from a broccoli or it comes from the pie. We're just measuring the energy in a food. It's like saying I demolish the idea that a pound is a pound. It's a pound, it doesn't matter. A pound of broccoli is as, as heavy as a pound of pie. Is the broccoli healthier than the pie? Of course it is. Does it contain more antioxidants than the pie? Of course it does. Does it contain less sugar? Of course. In summary, if you're trying to lose weight, especially midsection weight and you're struggling and someone is really pushing this focus on your calories in, calories out theory, you might want to take a step back and try something else. First of all, as I said before, the caloric deficit has been over and over shown to cause weight loss. In like thousands and thousands of studies in the real world, it, it does work, right? You can perfectly lose weight while eating shitty food. Is it healthy? Is it sustainable? Does it work long term? Of course not. But if you're on 1200 calories per day, you're going to lose weight no matter what you're going to eat. If you want to be healthy, a balanced diet approach is, in my opinion, the best approach you can have, where you eat out of all food groups. This would be my opener. This would, I, if I would be Dr. Burke, this is what I would do. I would say here, the junk food industry is pushing a lot of this high caloric, high fat, high salt food. That food stimulates your cravings and will want you to get more, right? But it is extremely bad for you. It causes diabetes, obesity, etc. I have an alternative diet approach that will help you to get off junk foods and to lose weight. For Dr. Burke, that would be the keto approach. Fair game. I wouldn't have a problem with that kind of video. You know, this would be an honest approach. You wouldn't have to talk about the caloric deficit and how universities only teach like lies, which is not true, right? He wouldn't have to do all of this. He could just start there. And I just don't understand why he doesn't that. Well, let's go on. If someone tells you that there's no difference between 100 calories of this meat, okay, versus 100 calories of this soda, in relationship to your hormones, they really are lying to you. Okay, so what is true is that Coke has a much higher glycemic index than sausages, right? What is wrong is that 100 calories of sausage does have a different energy amount than 100 calories of Coke. They have exact same energy amount. Do they act differently in your body? Of course they do. There are different foods. And arguably, right, the sausages are the better ones of the two. Not that they're great foods. Sausages are processed, highly processed foods, in fact. Both of those foods, in my opinion, would classify as empty calorie foods. But the sausages are arguably the better ones of the two choices. But what you should take away from this is that you're not going to die if you drink a can of Coke every once in a while. You should be careful with added sugars and added high fructose corn syrup and foods that have a lot of added sugars, they can rise blood sugar levels in there. If you over consume them, if you eat too many of them, that can lead to a lot of health problems. Eating every once in a while, a cake, not a big deal. If the rest of your diet is healthy, contains a lot of fiber, protein, whole foods, you can eat a cookie, no problem. It doesn't make a big difference. But if you already have a diet that contains a lot of junk foods, burgers, fries, like all this kind of stuff that you shouldn't eat too much of, right? And then you add Coke and sugar on top of that, that 
can lead to diabetes and obesity if you do that long term, not just one day. And also, if you, you eat like a you know, a little broccoli once in a while, that also doesn't change a lot. It is your overall diet approach that changes who you are, how healthy you are, and how healthy you feel. As a conclusion, for someone who works at a university and who really wants to help people, I'm not saying that universities are free of corruption. There's for sure corruption in universities. But I can tell you that. I joined the university to help people. I chose the science path, the evidence-based path, to help people live a better life. I know that all my colleagues that I know personally in my 20 plus years at the university, I would say 95% of the people that work at the university that are professors that teach and do the science, they have one intention and that is to help people get better with a science-based approach. And going out here on YouTube and telling people that universities fail to educate their students to correct uh, content that is extremely dangerous. What Dr. Berg is doing, he's doing a black and white approach. But if the keto diet doesn't work for you, then he doesn't offer you other approaches. And that is what a true educator should do, to offer you a multitude of tools that you can choose from to live the best life that you can do. That is it for me for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I see you next week. I'm out.